Hey Scorpio, this is your March reading. My readings are timeless, so whenever you're seeing this, something may apply to you. You've gone through like a massive cycle in your life. A lot of lessons, a lot of heartbreak, but it's also giving you a freedom it's almost like you've been down to the depths of hell. So like you can only go up from here. Um, I have peaks of joy and this is like the fool card in the tarot for me. You are deciding what is going to happen in your life. It's like you've taken control now of this compass. You've been setting a lot of intentions. You may have been praying a lot while you're going through this metamorphosis, this change. You're being reminded to go like slow and steady have the chills. Slow and steady wins the race. Like, just pace yourself. You don't need to do everything all in one day. Like, it's really about the journey, not the destination. I hate cliches like that, but it's true. You need to go at a snail's pace right now. It's almost like you've had so many upgrades that you need to get used to your body, your mind, what it is that, like, those new upgrades that you've taken on. Maybe feeling up backwards, out of place, Oof. needing to let go of people, places, things, habits. If you haven't, you know what you need to do. Threes are significant. <sighs> like I'm getting pulled to the, the trees, how there's no leaves on them. So... Like things may have been really rough since the fall into the winter. Spring is going to be coming soon. And I feel like you're going to just feel so much lighter. You will no longer be sabotaging yourself. In the past, you were definitely sabotaging yourself. There was a lot of ego-driven habits that you had, but you learned these from other people. You've let them go. You realize now that doing that doesn't serve you. You have this King of Pentacles coming in. Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ah, okay. All right, you have someone from the past that left you in this Ten of Swords energy. And then someone new coming in to give you this pentacle, the security, the stability, everything that you ever wanted. You're going to have to take as this resonates. I read for a lot of people. Okay, so one of them is a king of swords. The other one is a king of pentacles. The one that is going to bring you the stability and the security you know is the right path for you. I'm getting pulled that like this is this king of pentacles. It doesn't need to be an earth sign though. This is someone who is very stable, reliable, like secure within themselves. I feel like, and, and this is not true of all air signs, I'm saying this person, if you were dealing with someone in the past that left you in this, they're very manipulative. Like they were matching your energy in this five of swords. They're very strategic. Like my head is beginning to throb. It's almost like they just sit around like thinking how they're going to screw people over, I guess. Manipulate them, get what they want. Um, now, as as children, we're, we're taught that that's the only way that we're going to get our needs met. Um, I have the magician and then the hermit. You're needing to really take your time. Okay, in what you're manifesting, what you're asking for. This came up in another reading about details. Needing to be very specific on what it is that you want and know that, <laughs> like, be careful what you wish for. If you say you want something, are you ready for it? Or are you going to resist it when it comes in? If you're looking for this person that's going to come in and that's going to give you a lot of stability, are you ready for it? Like, are you ready? So whatever it is, what, what intentions that you're setting and the results that you want, you should also be affirming that you will no longer resist them, that you are ready for them to come into your life. You've learned a lot of lessons 
ooh, about letting things go, cycles and rhythms. And, and like going with the flow, the ups and downs. We learned that life is, there's an immediate supply or an infinite supply of love. Dolphins, whales, the ocean, water is significant for you. I feel like you get restored from water. Okay, so if you don't live by the water, by the ocean, by lake, streams, whatever, um, maybe taking baths, Epsom baths, bubble baths, essential oils, like really self-care, nurturing yourself is going to be important for you right now. And I have bold, unleash your adventure side, take, take risks and be daring. There's some type of risk that you're being asked to take here. I feel like there's something pulling at your heart to go and do. You've been holding yourself back, like fear of failure, fear of whatever. You're the only creator in your reality. So you're the only person. If you think that people are judging you, you're creating that. So don't create that. And take the risk. Do the thing that it is that you want to do. And not care if you look like a fool. Not care if people are judging you or saying, you know, certain things about you. There was some type of insecurity that you had about your body. I feel like you're coming into a space where you're just embracing who you are, how you look. And it's like, take it or leave it. This is who I am. I love me. If you don't, then just keep moving. Okay? Like really feeling much more secure within yourself. And that's why this person is coming in. And they're going to be able to match the security that you're giving to yourself. I love you guys. Enjoy. <laughs>